Hello, this is Julia Finnegan and you're watching Buckingham News. World Humanitarian Day was celebrated last week, recognizing local humanitarians who answer the call to help, often at their own expense, help us to remember that empathy and humanitarian are essential to our community and the world. Follow me to find out more about it. World Humanitarian Day 2022 was held last week on August the 19th. It is an internationally observed day dedicated to humanitarian workers and those who have lost their lives working for humanitarian causes. Since Ukraine crisis started on 24th of February 2022, more than 2.2 million people have fled the country in what has become European fastest growing refugee crisis since World War II. The Homes for Ukraine scheme was launched by the UK government on the 14th March of 2022, which allows a UK resident to sponsor a Ukrainian refugee or family to live within their home. Paula Seddon and her husband are locals from Buckingham and have taken a Ukraine family spanning three generations into their home. Okay. <laughs> Welcome in the in UK. We don't speak English never. Zero. Mm -hmm. Buckingham, very beautiful city, uh, very good people, very more uh, help for Ukraine people. Very, thank you very much. <laughs> we try not think about um, mm -hmm. Ukraine every time, but it's very hard. In Ukraine is really war, bomb. Racket, uh, building uh, break, mm -hmm. and um, people die. There is a saying that it takes a village to raise a child. Similarly, it takes a village to support a person in humanitarian crisis. This is Julia Finnegan reporting for Buckingham News. The Buckingham Parish Church continues this year to organize holiday clubs for young children and teenagers. Holiday clubs fill a much needed gap during the holidays in the community. Laura Buyumbo has the story. On the 24th, 25th and 26th of August, the family fun days were held at the Buckingham Parish Church, organized by the Buckingham Church's Holiday Club. The day kicked off at 10 a.m. with activities such as face painting and singing. Buckingham Church's Holiday Club is an organisation that's been running for over 30 years, providing exciting age-appropriate programmes and events for children and youth between the ages of 5 to 18 across two venues. It's organised by the churches together across Buckingham, so all of the different churches coming together and wanting to organise some really fun activities for families in the summer, really wanting to bless our town. Bringing people together to have fun and to be inspired throughout the summer holidays is what they're best known for. For more information and future events, head to bcholidayclub.org.uk. This is Laura Boyobo reporting for Buckingham News. Dyslexia is a condition that affects millions worldwide that has a dramatic impact on the way a person learns. A University of Buckingham lecturer and specialist dyslexia tutor has written a book to help students and the wider community better understanding dyslexia and how it can be helped. Tresha Leinen reports. Sarah Miles' book, Be a Brilliant Dyslexic Student, was born out of her work at the University of Buckingham over the past six or seven years. A lot of students, when they first come to see me, are quite lacking in self-esteem. They might have been through school either unsupported. A lot of international students have never heard about dyslexia. So they have come perhaps thinking that there's something wrong with them. Dyslexia is a common learning difficulty that mainly causes problems with reading, writing and spelling. A person with dyslexia may read or write very slowly, confuse the order of letters in words, have poor or inconsistent spelling, and find it hard to carry out a sequence of directions. Sarah encourages students who have dyslexia to adopt special strategies which will boost their confidence and their grades. The study strategies really help, and you can turn a student from third or 2-2 two -two into a first almost within a term. Boosting self-esteem and confidence is so important, getting the student to believe in themselves. 
According to the NHS website, it is estimated that up to one in every 10 people in the UK has some degree of dyslexia. This is Tresha Lionel for Buckingham News. Makaton is a communication system designed to help people who can hear but have learning and communication difficulties communicate more effectively. It is different from British Sign Language and uses sign and symbols. Natalie Ensley has the story. Makaton is a unique language program that uses symbols, signs and speech to enable people to communicate. Samantha Claire Harper has been learning Makaton since her family took in a foster child who was unable to communicate. So Makaton is different to sign language in that, uh, well, there's British sign language or American sign language, French sign language, and these are all actual languages. Makaton is a language program. It's not a language in itself. It uses different languages to help people communicate. So Makaton uses words from spoken English and signs from British Sign Language or American Sign Language, depending on where you are, um, and combines those. It even has its own symbols as well to help with reading and writing. You can email Samantha Claire at melodyscience123 at gmail.com to book a place or obtain further info. Thank you for watching Buckingham News. We will see you next week.